Hello everyone, this is Tyler Wiz, back at it again with the Bloodborne playthrough, live from my freezing apartment. But we're not going to focus on that today, we're just going to focus on some Bloodborne. We're going to have some fun <clears throat> killing beasts and whatnot today, that's what we're going to do. Have a grand old time doing that. My PS4 is pumping heat into my room because it's old and the vents are getting bad, so... That's... <laughs> that's one heat source, I guess. Okay, so I just picked up from where I started before. I went back and leveled up once or twice. I'm at level 20 right now. Those are my stats. Doing the saw cleaver. And now we're on to Father Gascoin. I noticed a weird little jump when I was recording. I was doing a little test one before uh, I jumped into this one. There was a little jump on this one, or the last one I recorded, and then the last episode as well. I don't know what the deal with that is, but... Hopefully that doesn't occur again. We'll we'll live with it. We'll get through it. So to get to Father Gascoin, we'll start at the central Yarnum Lantern. That makes the most sense. And um I noticed my mic last time was a little up there as well, so I touched that down. Just a, just a hair. We'll see what... We'll continue experimenting. I think I got like 20 views on my last one, so... If you're one of the... Few people who watch that... We're gonna work on that. We're gonna... Iron out the details. Make this a... A nice little experience for everybody. Okay. You die. The itch. Yep, you're coming with me. I love that about from software games. The bodies just come with you. Fun, fun stuff. That is single handedly why Dark Souls 2 isn't as good as the other ones because it doesn't have the ragdoll physics. I'm not biased. You can't change me. Alright. Oh, got him. Oh, son of a bitch. Wasn't close. Wasn't quick enough. Alright. No okay. cap. So, to get the Father Gas coin, what we're aiming to do here is lower this elevator that's over here. That is the primary sub objective. To create that shortcut because that's just gonna... That's just gonna make things way easier and honestly I don't see another way in which to do that unless you want to walk the whole fucking way again, which, no. So yeah, no. Long story short, we're unlocking the shortcut, and to get the Father Gas coin, we're literally just taking... Just that, that was pretty smooth. God damn it. There we go. What's up, guy? Man. We're just taking the, um, same way we did last time, when we were... Figuring out how to cheese all that bullshit. So. It's really just a really um, familiar territory that we're doing. There's a crazy old lady. Maybe we'll look into doing that later, but. I don't feel a need at the moment. Oh, hey, buddy. Show ass parried, boy. There's a few things I need to remember during this part. Oh 
make our life a little bit easier. Oh, hey. Gonna need those, sir. There we go. Oh, let me pick it up for a second. See about this guy. Boom. Get your shit out of here. Not welcome. Yeah, why don't you drop a like if you agree with the sentiment of fuck landlords? Why don't you just drop a hot like if you're just like, wow, I fucking hate my landlord? Because. I did not understand the concept of why my parents were so pissed and stressed off all the time when I was younger. But now that I'm out here and I got somebody who's literally not turning on my heat, I, I you know what? Gotta give my parents a little bit of slack because I would be pretty chapped too, you know? little bit of a side note, it doesn't have much to do with Bloodborne, but... It is just unjust, man. What some people in positions of power are capable of doing, and what they will do. Um, yeah, fuck you over. They think you can't do anything about it, but do whatever you can about it in those situations. Because it serves as an example. You should make an example out of the times where you can stand up for yourself. You should always make it a point to stand up when you can. That's the only... That's the only way these people are going to learn, for one, and two, that you can maintain your self-respect. That's... As far as I'm concerned. Getting a little off track here. <laughs> but... This is literally nothing new to this part. We're literally just... redoing this, except we're gonna grab this bloodstone shard here. Yeah. Boom. I'm pretty sure we picked up the saw spear. Let me check. Yep. I might want to do a saw spear. I don't want to copy Jacksepticeye. That'd be kind of lame, I feel. try to do just a saw cleaver maybe I'm just a little bored with it because my last playthrough I did the saw cleaver and I like it I like the saw cleaver it's a good weapon it's just once you do a full playthrough of the saw cleaver it's just like I just want to switch it up but I feel like, I feel like most people are just gonna, like, grasp this way easier. Fuck this guy. Ruining my mojo like that. Oh, I never bought the Yarnum set. Oh well. So, this isn't the way to Father Gascoin. I should have specified that. We're going up right now to grab a music box. And also, well, we can open up the shortcut. Pretty useless shortcut, if you ask me. We don't really come back here a ton to really make this shortcut viable, but fuck it. I mean, the lever's here, why not? But here's this girl right here. A nude? I don't know your voice, but I know that smell. Are you a hunter? I'm a hunter. My mom. You never came back from the hunt. 
and she went to find him. But now she's gone too, and all alone, and scared. Oh. Yeah, you... I mean, if you refuse to find this girl's mother, just by the tone of her voice there, I mean, I, you're kind of a dick. We're, we're getting right now, we're, we're agreeing to find the girl's mother because of... <clears throat> we're trying to get a music box from her. Really? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Mom, with the red jeweled brooch, it's so big and, and beautiful. You won't miss it. Oh, I mustn't forget. If you find my mom, give her this music box. It plays one of Daddy's favorite, and when Daddy forgets us, we play it for him so he remembers. Mom's so silly for no more quick. Okay. <sighs> God. So. This backstory is kind of shitty, man. So. I feel like it's not spoiling it because we're literally like 10 feet away from fighting this boss, but. Essentially. That music box. Is. <laughs> the, the daughter is the daughter of Father Gascoigne, and that. little note we're gonna play, the little song we're gonna play is gonna remind him of his daughter and he's gonna be all like oh shit, what up? I'm a piece of shit. Cause there's a great Fuck off. Sir. There's an amazing Bloodborne lore compilation on Spotify of this one guy talking about Bloodborne. And he is just so knowledgeable about it. He just really covers all the bases and that's where I got most of my lore information off of Valve <laughs> I can never pronounce his name right. Val Valvidi Valvidi <sighs> I'm gonna be embarrassed. I'll have to look up his name later, but any Souls fans know who I'm talking about. It's the main dude you go for, to for lore, as far as I'm concerned. But there's this guy, I'll, I'll find his name and I might put it in the description when I'm making the video later on today. Who talks quite in depth about Father Gascoin and essentially Father Gascoin started going off killing beasts and he's like I'm protecting the town look at me I'm Father Gascoin that's my Father Gascoin is fucking Justin Roiland for some reason ooh wee I'm I'm Father Gascoin look at me I'm ooh I'm I'm gonna go off and I'm I'm gonna kill those 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 Monsters, I'm, that's what I'm gonna do. Ooh, hooey. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he goes off and he kills some monsters and he gets a little too crazy with it. He gets. I'm gonna run into Eileen again. She's gonna be like, yo, these hunters, man, they're getting drunk off blood and shit. He always has his belly flop. And again, drunk off blood, man. We gotta stop him. And Father Gascoin is one of those gentlemen that was getting a little too hyper about his bloodlust. And he ends up, um. No, I'll leave that. We'll, we'll wait to reveal that part, but. Essentially, he gets, he gets a little too drunk off blood, and that song we're going to play for him reminds him of just, like, I guess just what a piece of shit he is. Kind of reminds him of, like, oh, jeez, dude. Remember when I wasn't a piece of shit? Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm gonna meander up here. You all just you just want to like fuck around here, cause that's gonna come by. That's gonna just take care of most of your issues. You son of a bitch. Okay. So, this is the shortcut I was talking about. And a lot of people regard Father Gascoin as one of the first like real boss areas or the one of the first like the first real boss really and I'm not sure why that is when the cleric beast is like even sooner but I guess he's like the one boss you have to go through to progress through the game so I guess that's why people regard it as that but He's a real difficult boy for some people, but I'm gonna try to show you guys a few tips and deal with them. Just watch how I'm spacing them. I know I haven't been like super informative about how I'm playing but I'm like trusting you guys to have like eyes and go like oh look he's he's walking around and he's like doing the flippies and he's doing the, some of these and pairing hope you're like watching like how I'm parrying people yeah yeah, that's where you go to to fortify and repair your weapons, by the way. I believe I went over that last playthrough, but just reiterating that. Okay. I'm gonna buy the small resonant bell and the sinister bell, just uh just why not? We also got the what, what was that badge? The sword hunter badge. When we beat the cleric beast. I believe that unlocks. What does that unlock? I'm pretty sure that unlocks us buying the Kurt Hammer as well as a few other things, but I don't remember exactly. Either way. <laughs> Either way, look how pretty the eyes are. Nice, nice, beautiful eyes. Okay. I think we're ready. I think we're ready. This is going to be like a shorter video, I think, but that's okay. I've got a, some studying to do anyways, and I feel like my first video was like an hour long. So we're just going to get right into fi fighting Father Gascoin. And I'll show you guys how to fight them and then we'll make our way up probably to the um, cathedral ward and I might try leveling up my saw cleaver to plus three if I haven't already I don't think I've I think it's just at plus two right now I'm pretty darn sure. That it is. Okay. This is such a short playthrough. Such a short episode already, we might as well... Might as well fill it out a little bit. Fuck you. Ain't shit. Oh, did you want some too? Cause you ain't shit either. Please.
please, oh please. Like I said, man, if you get mastering down, you don't need... You don't need a damn thing past that, really. Not really. I feel like half this game is pairing. Pairing and being able to time your dodge as well, because... The dodge is, like... Really well crafted in this game, I'd say. Like, it's. It's not like any other dodging is implemented in this game. I mean, there's, um, Quick Step, which is later. You can get later through the, um. What is that thing called? The Hunter's Bone or whatever. I get it, like, every playthrough. I can't believe I don't remember this stuff anymore. But once you get this dodge down and parry and all that, like you should be like unstoppable. <laughs> Sirs, you don't even know. You, your boy's gonna turn on you. I don't know why you're fighting me when your homie is the one who to fucking did that shit to you. None of you, sir. Fuck you. Carrying you for that shit. Make me look like a damn fool. Okay. Alright. Okay. Making our way up. To this big old guy right here. This big old tall glass of water right here. Okay, hey, give me that. Give me that parry. Mm. Delicioso. Mm. All right. Nope. You're a cursed beast, bitch. Hate all the shit that the villagers talk in this game, man. They don't even know. Oh, that's why we like the shotgun. That thing just parries everything. Some bold hunter's marks, because always going to need those. And remember, remember, before starting this fight, you want to have that music box ready. Because I'll show you guys when to use that, when I like to use it at least. But you want to have that shit ready to go. Okay, I'm going to... Probably should have brought out some more Molotovs, because he is... He's weak to that, but we'll maybe hit him with it when he's stunned. Cause the music box stuns him. It makes him like kind of all frazzled because he's remembering his daughter. Like, oh shit, why am I such a piece of ass? Fuck and yeah. All right, so we're gonna go in now. We'll watch his little thingy. We'll be respectful the newer people to the game. See, hey, look at that. Getting a little too crazy with it. Beasts all over the shop. You will be one of them. Soon. Seems like projection, buddy. All right, so here he comes. This is like a true sentiment to the game so far. Let's see if we can get him with that. No. All right. Enough talking. We're gonna. It's time to go. Time to go kill mode. Boom. Again, having that shit up to plus two really helping out here. Oh, thought you had it. Oh, he's really 
such a fucker with that. Sweet blood. Oh, it seems to me. Ooh, yeah, getting those parries off. Pretty sure he's gonna transform soon. Oh, got him with the parry again. Oh, this is gonna be. Oh, this is gonna be a cheese fest. Here we go. Here we go. He's gonna transform now. This is when you use the music box. Fuck. I think I got him with it. Let's just get the parry. Fuck it, we're just gonna go for it. I was gonna play it fancy and hit him with Molotovs and shit, but he was so low, I just wanted to capitalize that. Whew. So yeah, you could make that a pretty easy boss fight. Again, having the plus two, having that saw cleaver plus two, man. And hitting those parries and those dodges really helps you out. Okay. So the thing I wanted to show you guys first before we go to the next area, because I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty confident this next area isn't that hard. I just want to show you some a quick way to level up your weapon to plus three before you get to the next area, which I'm I'll probably cover that next video. But, <clears throat> nonetheless, remember that thing about uh, having the the red crystal brooch or whatever? Yeah. Red jeweled brooch. Yeah, this is the mother. He killed the mother. He got too drunk with blood and he accidentally killed his wife. And based on the lore from what the guy was telling me from the um, guy from Spotify, I'll try to link his... his podcast because it's really fucking good but essentially yeah like the girl kind of explains that the mom went after looking for father gas coin so she's like honey it's it's time to fucking chill out it's time to come home and just bring it in a little bit dude like there's definitely a beast problem but you're taking it too far you have a daughter at home and he's just he was too lost in the sauce man you don't want to get lost in the sauce but unfortunately, he was just so... He was so lost in the sauce, and he, um... He killed her. That's sad. Bergenware Spider hides all manners of rituals and keeps our lost master from us. A terrible shame. It makes my head shudder uncontrollably. I forgot the lore behind that. So the Bergenware spider is Rom. Oh, fuck, I shouldn't spoil it. I'm trying to interpret it though. Our lost master. It's kind of true and kind of isn't speculation. A lot of this lore is speculation. Maybe I'll go over that later. I don't want to spoil anything right now. Ah, uh, yes, the blood gem workshop tool. Very useful. Okay. This is the Cathedral Ward. Now, this place is one of the most important places in the game. It's like branches off into like a good amount of the first section of the game so it's we're gonna be coming back here a decent amount kind of builds it up as such too it like really kind of placing like this is a place of significance really hones in on the beauty of it and this is the home you want to talk to first to be able to invite people here you must be a hunter. A hunter? Very sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Good. Good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. These hunts have everyone all locked up inside. Waiting for it to end. It always does. Always has, you know. Since forever. But it won't end nicely. Not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going bad. Mm. The screams of women folk, the stench of blood, 
The snarls of beasts. None of them's too uncommon now. Yarnum's done for, tell ya. But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here Irving Chapel. Yep, and that's the invitation you get. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell them to come on over. If you wouldn't mind. I know I should if you happen upon someone while hunting, if they seem well, I know. Yep. So, like, that's the little invitation you get to start bringing people here, which you should start doing. Depending on who, I won't... We'll get into that later. But... I think I leans up here. There's another place. Any souls vets knows the place I'm talking about. Around this corner. We'll get into that later. Right now, I just want to show you guys how to quickly... Fuck you. Embarrassing me like that. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I just need... Ooh, excuse me. Four more. Get out of here, please. Oh, please. you somehow manage to get this far and don't have a hunter set there's one free one right here but make sure to walk away real quick because that boy will grab you and take away most of your health we'll get to that later that's the dlc but i don't want to do the dlc right now i want to take care of this shit I'm sorry, are y'all bad at the fucking game? Looks like it. Looks like y'all bad at the fucking game. Oh. Do you, you have something to prove? Did you have something to prove, sir? Oh. Yeah. See, I'm getting cocky. It's usually when the game comes around. Get a little monocle real quick, because that's nice. Pretty sure the purpose of the monocle here is kind of to show, like, everything that's going on. Forgot where we came from. I would sit here and observe, but I don't want to run on my timer too much. It's not clear to me. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, no, because this is. The bridge of Father Gas that leads up to Father Gas Coin. That little part right here, that's like on top of my head, is where we fought the cleric beast. See, that's why I love these games, man. So interconnected. Love the map design. So, so fucking cool. Okay. Okay, so there's three more bloodstone shards we picked up there, which is fine and dandy, but there's one more, one more boy we want to get real quick before this guy goes apeshit. <sighs> Boom. That's plenty of fucking bloodstone shards. Just 
hit him with these heavy attacks, stun him pretty well. Kind of hugging his backside. Yeah. Boom, loaded. Damn, see, look at that. I just got so many bloodstone shards. I have enough to level up the fucking saw spirit of plus three right now if I truly wanted to, but if you want to watch a saw spear playthrough, go watch Jacksepticeye's playthrough. I don't I don't feel the need to do that. I don't know what's behind this door. I don't know if you ever find out. It's just closed. Maybe I'll research that after. But okay. I showed you how to get fucking all the goddamn bloodstone shards. And we're just gonna go back, level up real quick. That's odd, that never happens. So went off for no reason. A little spooky. Okay. We're gonna go back, level up real quick, and I think we're gonna end the video there. Um. Yeah, again... Thanks for tuning in if you did. I'm having fun. Share my knowledge and such on this game. I love this game so much. If I can... Show other people... That's all well and dandy to me. What do you have to say? Is close. It will be a long hunt tonight. I bet it will be. If the beasts loom large and threaten to crush your spirits, seek a holy chalice. Mm -hmm. As every hunter Fuck the chalices. A holy chalice. Will chalice dungeons in this game the are really hit and miss in the community. I saw a comment recently that was kind of like, you know, great way to not get fed up with the chalice dungeons is to do them once every once in a while. Because the commenter kind of pointed out a flaw that a lot of players have in which that they will wait until they collect all the chalice dungeons and try to do them all, all at the same time at the end. And you should try to space them out because chalice dungeons can get kind of boring this is like one of my favorite games of all time but i have no problem whatsoever saying that chalice dungeons are fucking boring because i do find them a tad boring at times um i don't know what to level up so we're just gonna level up everything 15. That just seems nice. Nice solid numbers. Farewell. Not leveled up too much any which way. Oh, one more piece of information before I go. You can give this back to the girl, but she goes off and looks for her mom and she's killed by that pig that's down underneath the bridge before we uh, climb that ladder up to Father Gascoin. So I like using it to get a blood gem out of it. Which is better than this one. So yeah. I like doing that. You guys can go give it back to her if you do you can find her dead carcass next to the pig and it gives you a ribbon to put on the messengers if you really want to but I it just makes me sad that she dies so I don't do it I do not do that but that's up to you if you want to do that other than that I upgraded my weapon 
we're on to the next area soon after this and i think i'm gonna probably call it a quit and do the next segment in a few days from now or something but i really need to get studying and also file a complaint against my landlord because hold those greedy bastards accountable man hold them fucking accountable gotta do it okay thanks for watching guys um catch you again here soon have a great day